Okay, so today I'm going to debunk some lies. This is my response video to Mahdi Hassan, who is spreading misinformation, and that's of course an understatement. So, let's watch the lies together. Let's take a step back and look at Gaza. Sure, yeah, let's look at Gaza. This is a place where approximately 2 million Palestinians live under Hamas's terrorist rule. And Israel, of course, still has a blockade in place there. Israel still controls Gaza's borders and airspace. It makes decisions on who can cross into and out of Gaza. Okay, that's funny because there is one important point that he purposely doesn't say, and I'm gonna say it, and it's that Gaza shares a border with Egypt too. And Egypt, much like Israel, want nothing to do with Gaza, and therefore their border crossing is also blocked. Egypt is even building a wall on the border with Gaza. Now, you want to ask yourself, why do both Egypt and Israel build walls and fences on their borders with Gaza? Because both countries want to protect their civilians from terrorists in Gaza. Because Gaza could have been a living paradise with beautiful beaches and palm trees, but instead it is being controlled by Hamas and the Islamic Jihad with the support of the Iranian regime. That blockade has had a devastating economic impact. More than half of Palestinians, 56% live in poverty. 48% are unemployed, according to the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics. It's indeed devastating. And you want to ask yourself, who is responsible for that? Israel is sending Gaza tons of humanitarian aid every day. Right now, there are Gazan civilians receiving medical treatment in Israel. But if I enter Gaza, I will not come back alive. That's why we have a wall. No one will lecture us on how to defend ourselves against terrorism. Back in 2010, former British Conservative Prime Minister David Cameron even described Gaza as an open prison camp. Gaza is suffering, but not because of Israel. Israel is trying to help Gazans. Gazans are suffering because of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad. And now on top of those humanitarian issues, there are missiles flying into the area from Israel. No mention of the fact that Hamas is firing rockets from homes and civilian populations? Into an area where two million people are densely packed into just 141 square miles. No mention of Hamas's use of hospitals, schools and mosques to store their weapons? This is dishonesty. This is what the media is telling the world. Are we going to sit back and watch these lies? Share this video. Don't sit back. Let's defend Israel together. 